Game against the Mbot versus the Dragonite. Points away. Um, Points it was okay with the illusions. You can get to a stage where you're pretty unkillable, but Neon, they're gonna go down the route of the Pangal. It's uh, it's gonna work out against him either way. It's uh, it, it should be a a fun lane here in the top lane with a lot of damage. I don't know if the kills are gonna be happening, but oh. Asta is definitely not gonna. Bottom have lane. Time. That's where the kills are happening in your dream. One more. The other Death Prophet now, when people have gotten used to playing it, it's it's not easy to play against by any means, especially when you have a PL, he can be very aggressive with this. Yeah, they're going on it now. They got the level two timing, and Rui's still playing with the swashbuckle. It's gonna go past Boom Booey, but an instant fairy fight to turn it back around. And uh, and Ryu, he's got no mobility to utilize. In fact, it's top lane where the kills are occurring yeah. is Astor. Yep. That was super close. Mm. Probably uh, would have ended, ended uh, badly for the storm. It's bottom lane. The Ember In your dream, he might go down. Ink Spall. Nice use of the doppelganger at the last second, but it will not matter as Jing gets extra damage thanks to the illusion spawning, so the stroke of fate. And the Pango, that is something that I wasn't expecting for sure. And you, as I said, the specialist on this hero, especially when he plays with a uh, with a grim stroke as a uh, as a position four. But look at Bombui. This is just insane how much uh, how much space he's creating. He might have bit it off a bit more than he can chew. Boom, boom. He's going to go down to the combo and Enri is able to reset in your dream, actually. Wants to continue the chase, but Doppelganger is not the best ability to hunt one out. But we can see the storm rotation, so Neon, they want to defend. But they do. The wraparound from Chuan and Avatar Mo oh, being oh, top. Guess. They're going to try and target down Yokem first. And the DK cover, they do much to prevent this, so that maybe they don't have the damage. They give the mangoes a little bit too late, so Avatar mode won't be able to continue the chase. And meanwhile, under the tower, though, Mizu trying to kill off Jing. Is he going to tick out to the Crow Sieve? A couple more right clicks, and well, in fact, is not required, as indeed he does tick out. From the Ember Spirit, for sure, if he was just spamming his spells, he definitely could have gotten out with They're going to go back in. Avatar mode. Zip into the Inkswell combination, but the Dragonite, not an easy target to kill off. They want to force this, though, from the side of NGXC. When you have right Alacrity back. back alive, he doesn't want to run them deep under the tower. No point in chains as well, so they won't really have this catch potential. It's just going to be reliant on Alacrity to close the distance and utilizing the slight space. Two options for them, but because they don't have that blink on Mizu just yet, it's it, there is this opening for Neon to get a little bit back in it. It's going to be another kill onto Boom Boo down bottom. In your dream, has the defusal, so he's going to look to show up to his first fight. And Neon, they recognize this. <laughs> Try to evacuate as best as possible, but Chuan won't have that capability, and Jing will not either. So, find the kill here. There's gonna be a big turnaround. Neon, they smoked under the ward, so they have the information. They've got the confirmation now of them being top as well as Mizu. Who is gonna get blown off the magic damage in a choke point where Enver can bounce back multiple times? They've run into in your dream, but maybe the Phantom Lance is looking to turn this around with the Diffuser Blade. They're onto Avatar mode. As it back to the safety of the tower, but Chuan won't have this capability. Now they're hunting for more. It's Alacrity. Chains onto two, and now they can just overwhelm them on their side of the map. As Jing will not have the capability to reset his position. As NGXC, yes, you lose Mizu, but you're going to take multiple heroes into the grave with him. The storm die. Once the storm dies, then the dives can be so deep from the side of Nigma Galaxy, and there's no one to finish them oh, off. No, especially Chuan. Oh, no, Chuan. Long zip. They get the stun. Boom, booey, though. Taking the brunt of the force. Not easy to kill off the death prof. And now, in your dream, showing up. No mana on storm. Avatar mode's out. And men are thinking the chains once again for the refresh. The TPs are starting to flock to the neighborhood, but they might not be able to turn this around without the Rolling Thunder and Enryu. The main. Oh, no, Mizu! Jumps to the back line, they have deep observer ward paying off massive for NGXC, and they know they're stuck. They know they are stuck. They TP to the lane, so they're gonna chase him into the tree line. Yeah, might die. This Phantom Lancer needs to deal with the Phantom Embrace, hasn't done so to the last second, and that will cost him his life, as at least Enry gets a big kill. Asta's gonna look to. What? Oh no! Asta TP didn't pop the meta, but the burst. Are you? Also charge up the Rolling Thunders. Chuan's trying to step in. 
the scout, see if they can catch anyone. Alacrity even uses BKB, but it might look to dive under the tower. They get the chains at the last second, so he's going to converge on the location. And there we go. Make a kill streak now. Dies, so it's it's not really easy for Neon to stay close. Look at this. Look at this poor Nyx. He just can't do anything. He can't do anything. His Miz is posturing so aggressively on the Dragon Knight. It's fighting time. So we're going to try and turn this one back around. Leashing them together. It's a beautiful impale from Tuan. As Radiant are grouping up, but the damage is lacking as Mizu healed from the blast. Die back on Tuan. Sundra at the last second, but Asta's going to be melted to a crisp. And Neon, they might call it quits. I, This is really difficult to come back in if you lose your high ground. But one last attempt as Enryu jumps inside with the ink spot combination. But where's the damage? Where's the follow up without the storm? They don't have enough to get any kills as Yokam won't even be killed off. And in the end, it's a full five man wipe. Uh, I get not one as Asta finds a good way to join the fight. Twice he comes into the fight, twice he dies without accomplishing anything. And even the, uh, yep. the items on the supports are just amazing. That Glimmer Cape, it means that no one is going to die. They only have magical damage right now. The GG is called and this game is over. Alright, NGXC off to a flying start today. A really, really good start to this second series as well. They're able to take it pre-20 minutes. This is the fastest game I've seen so far as well through the, the Pro Series. So, um, again, if they can continue on with this momentum, it's a, a new roster and taking some really important maps on some difficult teams so in the uh, in the mid lane considering that uh, the medusa does relatively well against the dk in the lane the pagana actually does a solid amount of damage it would actually be quite nice but nope they go for the ember once again and uh, now i like that neon esports actually have this shadow shaman to uh, to deal with him the problem is i think that uh parting his way to mid where yo cam positioned very deep near the tower alacrity as well they might be able to get the kill on Pugna before Neon look to show up to the fight. Chuan's going to reveal himself, Hex. Outside of the smoke, but they still get the kill. Avatar mode landing four points in the tide, bringing that's enough to find our first blood of the game. And top lane, and Ryu's going to be killed off as well, so that's all we need. We needed one kill, and then the floodgates opened. Yeah, that's a well-known uh, Ember Spirit player. Oh, they've called him out in the river. His remnant usages aren't great. Oh, and Bowie. Uh, Spike Carib is proving to be a nuisance. Uh, <laughs> Jing denied the region. I'm sure Avatar Mode or Enry or even Chuan would have liked Oh, Good move from uh, from Neon. They might oh. catch in your dream. Oh, yeah, they will. In your dream. Gets a silence of the Shaman. It's not going to break the combo, though, from Avatar Mode. The TPs are starting to come to the area. Unfortunately, with the Serpent War traps in your dream, there's no way he makes it away. Avatar mode's hunting, and Enryu flies on over. Swashbuckle to get the life. That's still NGXC. They're looking to turn it around. It's a beautiful combo from Enryu. And meanwhile, Avatar mode... ...and kill people there all the time. They need to uh, go for the draw and force out the TPs and then catch them one by one. That's what they're good at. All right, Mizu to jump. and boo in the river. They're trying to protect the double damage. Oh, this is huge now. Alacrity with a DD for the fight. And in your dreams, even going to look to show up as they land the double bushwhack. They need the bow. Avatar mode needs the rump off to keep his life, but it comes out too late. They even buy back on Chuan. So now the Shaman is going to have a non-factor this game oh, if they can right. kill him off a second time. And they might just do that. Chasing deeper and deeper. The deuce is caught out of the T2 tower. Now Chuan as well on the high ground is NGXC. A five man wipe in fact they get six kills giving info to his team the nyx assassin is giving info on the other part of the map it's opening up the drought to do whatever she wants and then at some point neon panics and they die they're on again to end ryu mizu and yokam the duo a potent concoction as they kill off end ryu and it's the wards it's the vision no, he might be in trouble got a lot of sentries covering the area so boom boo should be chased down Die, do they think about coming over to protect the Nyx Assassin? In fact, they're going to do just that. A remnant to the south, they're targeting Chuan, so a one for one. It's a lot of the control, though, from Neon, and with the Rolling Thunder on cooldown, I don't know if they can take this secondary fight. Alacrity still has the BKB for quiet. He's going to pop this in. Amizu flies over the tree line. They're targeting the Conker, but he's going to be okay. Stone Gaze will give them a little bit of breathing room, force them away. Now they're going to turn to Alacrity. 
His beacon is expired. Remnant to the northern side. Now in your dream, stepped into the middle, but now the Drow Ranger. Oh no, in your dream, you can't be posturing like that. His neon pounce. One opportunity. And as soon as they see it, a perfect execution to be able to kill off the Drown. Now they're eyeing up Mizu as well. The Spirit Vessel getting rid of the tanky nerf, but Alacrity, he might go back in. Rated, they're starting to fall pretty low. The slight spam, all the poke that NGXC are dishing That's out. They're gonna be cautious though. Tuan on the respawn, trying to find the stuns, maybe trying to deward instead as Tuan. Has he stuck around a little bit too long? That was again, Yokan. My God. He's always on point, this guy. Always on point. Finding bushwhackers whenever you wouldn't expect. Hate to use it. I'm going to send the decoy to try and get information. Roche is falling pretty fast. They need an answer. Decoy protecting for the moment. It might be on a lacquer to jump inside the middle. Early use of the stone gaze. They won't have this now to protect Roche. If NGXE try and get in the pit, this is going to lay down the fire, but look at all the poke oh, again cool. and Alacrity! Oh. oh my, he does it again! Age is still, how does Ember do it every single time? You give him his best hero, and he proves why he's one of the best on this Ember. Spirit is now and Ryu's bouncing everywhere, but he doesn't have an angle to retreat away his tire. Uh, they didn't even lose anyone. They did not. Good to look to play with. So that's where Enryu and Avatar mode currently positioning. They're actually just going to look to burst the Medusa down. All the men are taken care of. So now Asta won't be involved in this fight. Enryu's going to charge in the middle. Thunder Same with Swan, but the Rolling Thunder out. They're on the Yo Cam. But die, they can turn this around. In your dream, he has a double damage run along with the BKB. So the Draw Range is able to stand her ground. Asta's going to try and charge in the middle, but a stun instantly preventing that. And look at the back line. Alacrity causing chaos. He still has the ages of another 25 seconds. He's just giving them the information so the rest of NGXC can flock in as... Oh, Boom Booey. A beautiful double impale. Three are gone. They might even go for more. I'll lose the ages, but you're happy with that. You were speaking about needing to keep this tier 2 tower alive, but off the back of that lost fight, they will not be able to. They're gonna be knowing a bit? But nah, it's, it's, just, it's just so tough. Oh, nice scan. Really nice scan. Lackley was maybe starting to venture in a position where he could have been caught out. They're gonna jump the Nyx Assassin instead. Twan to start, but instantly Alacrity. Look at him jump the back line, targeting Twan. Protected for the beekeeper at the moment. Is still gonna be cautious on one Alacrity? Is still gonna try and deal with the heroes of the south. But Medusa just doesn't have the damage to push back the rest of Dyer. You still got big issues with the damage. Ember as well as Alacrity once again. Remnanting left, right, and center. He's got the Ag Shard, so the Remnant's continuing to be filled back up in the arsenal. And now with the Drow Ranger locking onto the Medusa, we see these marksmanship props being too much of an issue as Neon have to call it quits. And it's going to be NGXC going 4-0 today. What a beautiful day for them. Yeah, and I have to say, game number one uh, in the previous series, they were... You know, they made a few mistakes. Of course, it wasn't a flawless game, either the three next that we watched, but in terms of them understanding what their lineup is good at and what they need to do, it was, uh, it was just on point. And when you uh, know what...